What's your first reaction when you hear the word parasite? Oh, hell no! Yes, that's exactly it. And so today, let's talk about a parasitic organism called Balantidium coli. Although humankind has been fighting for these parasites for a hundred of years since its discovery on 1857, we cannot still get rid of them completely. So why are these little bees so tenacious? More importantly, are there any ways to defeat them? Surprisingly, yes, there are. If you want to know more, then please keep on watching. Let's start with the basic, shall we? So what exactly is Balantidium coli? Balantidium coli is a parasitic species of ciliate alveolates that causes the disease Balantidiasis. It belongs to the group of protozoans called ciliates because of the presence of hair-like organelles called cilia. This is known for being the largest protozoan parasite of humans, and it is for the trophozoite stage that it earns this distinction. Trophozoites can measure between 50 to 130 millimeters long by 20 to 70 millimeters wide. The two nuclei are clearly visible and the macronucleus is long and kidney-shaped and micronucleus resides next to it. The cyst is the infective stage of its life cycle. Cysts are smaller than trophozoites and measures 40 to 60 millimeters across. These are round and have a tough heavy cyst wall made of one or two macronucleus. During its cyst stage, macronucleus, cilia, and contractile vacuoles are mostly visible. Balantidium coli has two developmental stages, a trophozoid stage and a C stage. Cysts are the stage responsible for transmission of balantidiasis. The host most often acquires the cyst through ingestion of contaminated food or water. Following ingestion, existation, where parasites escape from a cyst, occurs in the small intestine and the trophozoites colonize the large intestine. Trophozoites reside in the lumen of the large intestine and appendix of humans and animals, where they replicate by binary fission during which conjugation may occur. Trophozoites invade the wall of the colon and multiply, causing ulcerative pathology in the colon wall. Some return to the lumen and disintegrate. Mature cysts are passed with feces. Balantidium coli most commonly infects humans, other primates, and pigs, which are reservoirs of the parasite. The protozoa are found worldwide and incidences of infection have been noted in Bolivia, Papua New Guinea, and the Philippines, yet usually with a prevalence of less than 1%. Infection is rare, but is likely to occur in places where humans live closely with swine and where water sanitation is poor or non-existent. The infection of this Balantidium coli is most often asymptomatic, but can invade in the large intestine, causing diarrhea, dysentery or the bloody diarrhea, colitis, and even abdominal pain. However, this can be treated effectively with antibiotics and can be prevented with proper hand washing practices, water treatment, separation of human and swine habitats, and proper waste disposal. When you successfully done that, congratulations, you finally got rid of those little parasites poisoning your life. Well, I truly hope that this information are useful to you and if you know someone experiencing this kind of problem, share this to them and you might help them battle this parasite. Thank you for watching.